Hey guys, Kimberly Faith here, and we are ready to do another adventure. I know I'm surrounded by a bunch of foothills, but we are not doing a foothill hike today. We are actually doing an adventure based around a new book I got when I was in Tahoe. It's all the hot springs in California and Nevada. And I found an area of Nevada about 100 miles north, north west, I think, of Vegas that supposedly has quite a few hot springs. So I'm excited to share that with you and see what we can find together. There are warm springs, if they're still there and what the deal is. So let's go on a hot spring hunt. Peanut has decided that he's driving today. Welcome to uh, Paranagat Valley. If someone could tell me, we don't know if it's Paranagat or Par uh, Paranagat. Paranagat. This is Crystal Spring, Nevada. There's supposed to be a spring behind a barbed wire fence here that's 90 degrees. There are no trespassing signs, so I don't know since this book was written in 2018 if anything has changed, if it's under new ownership or if someone bought the property, I'm not sure. We are going to walk and see if we can actually get through the no trespassing area. Crystal Springs, here we go. We hope. This does not look good, guys. <laughs> not only is there a fence and barbed wires and multiple no pest trespassing signs, but there is also a lock and a chain. We just drove about a hundred miles to get to the no trespassing sign. We can see the water, it's right there. So close, but yet so far. <laughs> Crystal Spring, first one, next. We're driving the shoulder because it's not paved. <laughs> it's much more fun. <laughs> Keep hitting. No littering, <laughs> no littering. L-I-T-T-I-R-I-N-G. <laughs> no littering, okay? Got it. So we're in the middle of very, very, look how high this grass is. It's like almost at my knees. Well, it's just about at my knees. <laughs> I had to carry peanut because there were some sharp things, some thistle. And, uh, and it, it's way above him and I don't want him stepping and hurting his pads. So I'm carrying him, carrying the mic, which I hope I don't need. <laughs> Hopefully there's no wind. And uh, there's a lake behind us. Um, I don't know what's in it. Uh, we're gonna walk over there, it's gonna be fine. We're here getting gas and we saw a sign for the whatnot shop. Lally man drew us in to the what not shop and art gallery. This is great. So you got a little bit of everything here. That's right. That's why it's the what not. Yeah. Yeah, we got treasures and we got junk. Yeah. You just you got just switch. <laughs> <laughs> treasures and junk. Hmm. <laughs> You got all the good lines. <laughs> we bought something at the Whatnot shop. I got glasses that are, <laughs> I mean, a necklace that's binoculars. Since I'm such an explorer, <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. It's kind of fun. Five dollars. <laughs> These new binoculars work so good. Found the next spring. Ash spring. It's not too far from, it's actually across the street from the Whatnot shop. We just have to park and go behind a no trespassing area. That's what the book said. We're not just being illegal for no reason. We also see people over there. So everyone else is doing it, right? <laughs> so we're just going to do it. It is supposed to be 95 degrees, so it's kind of like bath water. It's super clear. We are going to, uh, I don't know if I want to wear my shoes in, but I'm going, ah, take them off. Grounding, what do they call that when people are barefoot in nature? Call it 
earthing. I'm earthing right now. Ooh, it's so warm. It's toasty. It feels great. Warm. Yeah, I know. It feels good. We're going in. Peanut's feeling very relaxed right now. <laughs> He's ready to fall asleep. Look how clear it is. I do not in any way baby my dog. I was just accused of babying my dog. <laughs> He's not a baby. She babies the dog. I do not baby the dog. I do not. <laughs> anyway, we are about to leave. Wonderful Ash Springs here. It was a nice visit. We got a bath. Now it's time to go. We came, we conquered, we're out. As you know, now I like to give gifts on my adventures because it's fun for me. It's hopefully just as fun for the recipient, but it's super fun for me to give things away. Uh, for this episode, we were so happy. When we were getting out of the spring, an entire family arrived. So I'm gonna do something a little different this time. Rather than hiding a gift with a card and a book and everything, I am going to go deliver it to them because they have kids. And it's basically this cool raft thing that also serves as a mat for a beach, like a picnic mat, but also a raft. So, and it's got a handle. So we are going to go give it away. Let's go. Here we go. It's a, it's a toy. <laughs> you just said no, and I said you couldn't yeah. say no. <laughs> Welcome to our world. <laughs> Welcome to a little taste of our life. <laughs> you see this face? You see this face? This is a face that we see every Saturday when we're on a road like this. Play for me has to have a level of like crap what if this goes wrong you know like there a little you danger a little uh <laughs> you know a little risk involved it's too high got to abandon mission That's right. abort mission a too steep we're out here driving this crazy road in this very sparse and expanse area it just keeps going on and on and on and on we don't know where it leads to but we just ran up the hill because <laughs> just because However, one of the things I teach when I teach people to play, because play is my message. I want to get people into play because they're, um, they'll be more successful, happier, the relationships will be better. But anyway, one of the things I teach is find an animal in the clouds. Because we've all looked at the sky and we have found animals in the clouds as kids. What does that do? It opens your mind to new possibilities. It causes you to look at things more creatively. And if you exercise that muscle more and more, then you'll be more creative in life. You'll be better at problem solving. So anyway, after running up this hill, I happened to look at these clouds here and I thought they were really, really interesting. And the first thing I saw was a fish skeleton. That's what I saw. So I encourage you when you go out and you see clouds, definitely like, Find the animals in the clouds. What animals do you see right here? Find one. And put in the comments what you think you saw. <laughs> so I thought something was getting wet on my face. And I couldn't figure out why because it's not raining. <laughs> and then... <laughs> my poof balls <laughs> soaked up all the water in the hot spring. <laughs> they're, they're poof sponges. <laughs> they're my sponges. <laughs> We are going through a Joshua tree forest. So that must mean we are in between five and 7,000 feet because Joshua trees only survive at an elevation of five to 7,000 feet. And they are everywhere. 
he can see so well out of my new binoculars. Only cost me five bucks, he can see so good. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> Seriously, I was not faking, man. That's, that's this a, is, this is, is thanks so much for joining. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about what is in the Paranagat Valley of Nevada, which is so close, it's only 90 miles away. So it's a quick day trip if you don't have all day, like we didn't have all day. It's really quick to get there, it's easy. All the hot springs are, well, Ash Spring, that's the one you could get to, just off the highway. Easy, fun, not a lot of hiking, not a lot of effort to get there, but still a great time. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, and I will see you again on the next Destination Found.